So what's the craziest thing you somebody ever hit the call button for you on? The, the first thing that came to mind, this wasn't the craziest things, but it just shows you, I firmly believe that when the moment you step inside an airport, yes. like brilliant, smart people, just common sense and just like logical thinking just out the door. Out the window. Out the window. Normal smart people just can't think straight. Right. We were taking off out of L.A. and... We're, we're call button goes off right after we leave, like right after wheels up. So call button goes off. You can't I, even get up to go get it, right? Exactly. But uh -huh. when it happens that soon, also, I kind of think it's an emergency. So, so I'll, I'll break the rules. I'll, I'll, I'll bend the rules for that just because it's like something yeah. may be seriously happening. Yes. So call button goes off. I get up. I go out there. Woman's sitting at the window and she's looking out the window. And I said, can I help you, ma'am? And, and she's pointing out the window at Catalina, at mm -hmm. Island out there, at Catalina. And she goes, is that Hawaii? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the call button. Hit the call button. Got me out of my seat at a time that was not safe or prudent for me to, to ask me if the, the island, out, the landmass outside the window about... In California. In California. Yes. Was Hawaii. <gasps> I hope you said yes. <laughs> how did you, how did you respond? I don't. I think I... Put on, you know, my my standard flight attendant yeah. smile that just masks all <laughs> internal thought. <laughs> you know, the most gentle smile yes. I could I could plaster on my customer service smile, and I was just like, I don't think so. I think that might be Catalina, although I'm not sure. And just sort of walked away. But you didn't <laughs> you didn't admonish like no. the, like. Come on, though, no. but she shouldn't be hitting a call button. Like, no, this isn't like that. Ask Jeeves. You know, and I try, to, back in I the try, day to, here. I try know? to remember, you know, anytime I do something like that, I remember the time that I was shopping in, in a store okay. and there were plants there, there were succulents, and I was curious as to the maintenance and care on them. Yes. And so I went to, I got someone who worked at the store, and I said, you know, I'm a flight attendant, I'm out of town, I'm out of town a lot. Yes. Are these plants, you know, how hardy are these plants, or is it going to die? And the woman looks at me and she goes, it should be okay, because it's plastic. <laughs> <laughs> and so every time I want to like give someone you know a sure. hard time for a Catalina question, I just remember. Remember the time you asked a woman if a fake plant was hard to maintain? I listen. You're yeah. you're you're being too kind because you didn't ask a question in say the three to five minute period where there's an, a regulation by the federal government in which everybody needs to stay seated for everyone's safety. Like if that person working the flower shop had that five minute period, then I think we're apples to apples. You know what I'm saying? That's fair. That's fair. That's what I'm saying. So I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have minded if you gave a little bit of pushback, but, but you're too nice. Wow. That's awesome. Um, so what about this question? I, I, I'm kind of stunned that this is, um, a, an issue which a lot of people are then stunned to think that I find this uh, of issue for people. W where do you stand on 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 reclining your seat? I mean, people apparently find this an affront if somebody reclines the seat. I personally, I'm five foot three and three quarters, yes. so it is not of extreme importance to me. Yes, I don't usually recline the seat right. just in case there's someone taller behind me who needs that extra legs room yeah i also just don't find it to be that much more comfortable if i'm you know at a 90 degree angle versus right i don't do math I'm understand a <laughs> and a writer i don't do math and angles you're like, more verbal yeah i didn't do well on the math and the sat either yeah, i was no. more verbal as well although yeah. i'm not a best-selling novelist yeah. but but removing your own uh, height right. from the equation just in general is it apparently is or is it uh, an affront to actually utilize the button that's on the... It's not the, an affront. The... the button's there. You can use it. <laughs> that's that's what Chris and I say. There are many others who think that it's an issue, like T.J. Jefferson, who is of a certain... The other T.J., if you will, on the set right now. Long T.J. He has a problem if somebody reclines in his, his space. Well, yeah, but T.J., how tall are you? 6'3". There you go. So it, what's the cutoff? What's the height cutoff <laughs> for being uh, offended by, by, by somebody, you know, reclining into them, right? To me, that just comes to common courtesy. Yeah. 
I think if I if I recline my seat into TJ's space, I don't think he'd be upset. He would understand that it is within my right. Oh no, I'd a, be upset. No, he'd be upset. That's what I'm saying. I, mean, I wouldn't do and nothing. We talked you. about this. I wouldn't like punch the back of your chair or nothing, but I'd sit there and talk about you the entire See, time. See, that's what I'm know. saying. And 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 remarkably, Larry David sitting in that chair yeah. a couple months ago was upset with me yeah. that I have no problem reclining. None. And I will not only do that, but we already discussed about FAA violations. I will actually use the gravitational force of takeoff <laughs> to just recline so on the spot. Oh, now that, that I'll push that. back on. Now now I'm going to put on my flight attendant hat. Do you know the reason that you have to have your seat in a full and upright position oh, during taxi oh, takeoff please. and landing? Please. It, it is for the egress of the row behind you. So in the event of an that an emergency evacuation is necessary, yes. The people behind you, you've now blocked their exit off the aircraft. How have I done oh. that? Because you what if put, I have an you aisle? I mean, what if something I in the way. Huh? You put something in the way of them. So I'm actually causing a dangerous situation. Yes, oh. yes that oh. is the point. Oh. Here's the thing that I feel like people don't understand. Flight attendants are not like, you know, we don't want to like control. We don't want you to be uncomfortable. We're not, I don't care where your bag is. I do care that if it's out, the person sitting in the window next to you is not going to be able to get over that bag if they need to evacuate the aircraft. And in the event of an emergency evacuation, those seconds matter. That's the point of the reclining seats being upright. Same thing with tray tables. That's the reason we have your tray tables up. Okay. Everything is so that- It's an obstruction row, situation. It's an obstruction situation. The whole idea is- how do you keep this area as clear as possible so that we can get off of this airplane as fast as possible if we have an emergency situation? So reclining, okay. Using the ascent gravitational force, not okay. Not okay. So you gotta wait for the for the beep, for the bong? So what yeah. you gotta you gotta wait for the yeah. to okay. So taxi takeoff and landing is is statistically the most dangerous phase of flight. So if anything is going to go wrong, it's yes. going to be most likely during that period of time. So just for that, you know, little bit, just just keep your seat up. Right. <laughs> Although I do love that you use it as like a, a rocket blast yes, off, correct. basically. G forces. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever G forces yeah. there are. I'm not a scientist either. I'm yeah. trying to use it. Yeah. Yeah. To my, I, to, I appreciate that. To my advantage. Yeah. A yeah. Top I'm, gun I'm, going on right now. I'm always. Uh, yes. Exactly. I'm. Yeah. I'm. I'm like the. I'm. I'm Maverick. Is what I'm saying. Of, yeah. se of, of seat reclining. Yeah. I'm the Maverick of the seat. Of seat reclining. <laughs> If you I, don't I, mind. Yeah, I get it. Thank I you. get the impulse. I totally get the impulse. Well, now you know, Rich, that's nothing to be proud of, yeah. as TJ just told you. See? Larry, da I tried to tell you. Larry David tried to tell you. Now TJ's telling you. No, again, I am now going to stop doing this at the most dangerous time of the flight. <laughs> I have been taught. I have now been corrected. Uh -huh. I'm going to be a better citizen. I doubt it. But... I have the right to utilize the button that is there on the armrest to actually Boy. take advantage of reclining my seat and not uh, think about it. So it's okay that you put your seat bigger problem, into my face like this and I got to sit here for bigger six problem. Hours? I have a bigger problem with you using the back of my seat as a way for you to get out of yours. Well, you can't have it both ways, bro. You can't uh, no, like recline can, your actually. seat yeah. and then have me try to shimmy my way out. No, I'm going to grab your seat to stand point. Point. First of all, all of these are are much less on the tra the transgression scale of hitting the call button to ask about what's outside your window <laughs> yeah, as you're taking off. True. I'm that's very true. Bless you for not uh, ejecting that woman. I, she know, thought about it. That's for, that's for a few, but you should use that in the in some of these. <laughs> I know that doesn't kind of fit maybe the spirit of what you're writing about. But. That should be a scene the first in the movie. one, Falling had a little bit more of passengers being a little more, um, okay. you know, like that, okay. asking some pretty interesting questions. And... Okay. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.